Hello and welcome to part 6 of our series Macros for the Terrified and today we're going to be looking at multi-switch and if you want to see uh, it working exactly as I have I will be demonstrating then you do need the very latest version which is dated 30th of January. Still to come we have uh, a video on Fredit so we start this one by asking a question what does an editor do? Well basically an editor has to make changes to the text and we're assuming that we're working in Microsoft Word of course. How does the editor make those changes? Well uh, they can make those changes manually they can change the text at the cursor or they can make global changes to the document as a whole so you can click in the text and make some changes and deal with the, the just what you can see at the cursor or you can make changes throughout the document and for that we would use uh, find, find and Replace so you will recognize this Find and Replace box I'm sure we can make changes with that um, I would need an actual copy of that to uh, get it to work so uh, I can either make the changes by uh, saying find the next then I can say replace one at a time or I can say replace all which makes a global change for the whole document. So that's uh, the tools that you have available without macros so how do macros help? Well with uh, making manual changes we, where we're changing the text of the cursor we can use multi-switch and for global changes uh, for changes throughout the document we're gonna, we can use Fredit. So today we're just dealing with part one and dealing with multi-switch. Both of these uh, macros are what I call content free macros in other words each is a tool but as it stands it doesn't actually have anything specific to change. Each of the macros basically says to you what do you want me to do today, what do you want changing and you have to supply the words or the text that you want changing. So multi-switch switch, to get that to work you have to have a, an open file on screen which we're going to call ZZ switch list. that's just the name I've chosen to use so to do it we need to start with a new file we need to save it as um, ZZ switch SWITCH list um, and save it there we go so that is now ready to use and when I try to use multi-switch it will look at this file and obviously I'm going to put some words in the file and those words in the file will be um, what do you want me to do today there will be the information uh, of what you want to change okay so you can put as many items in the list as you like you might decide that you want to change that into which which is a fairly common thing to need and again which into that other suggestions I've got here are criteria and criterion which um, people tend to use criteria for the singular and then you have to change it to criterion and continuous to continue. These, these are just suggestions of things that you might want to change and you can actually use the same um, macro to work as a text expander so for me I, I often have to work, uh, type out the names of various macros and uh, a, like a word like proper nouns so I use uh, the multi-switch to change PN into proper nouns and P into proper analyze. So we've got to put the, this text into our switch list so let's uh, copy those and we'll put them in so I'm going to copy those I'm just going to paste them into there just for the moment but that's not the format in which multi-switch uh, requires and so I'm just going to cheat and use global find and replace 
um, which is set up already for me. Replace all. Okay, so I've just changed those little arrow things uh, into carriage returns. So if we make that a little bigger. Um, so, but we need them in pairs. We don't need and there, do we? Um, so that which is going to be the first pair, which that is the next pair, criteria, criterion is going to be the next pair, uh, and then we split that, and we split that, and we split that. So th those are our words ready to do any changing. So let's just put those to one side, and we can watch what happens with those. So let's bring in some text that we want to change. So I decide that which there should let's make this a bit smaller. There we go. I decide that which should actually be that. So I run the the multi switch macro. Multi switch. So multi switch has uh, gone to the list. So if we just click on the list, uh, it's gone to the list. It's found which. And it's then looked and it's found that as the as the alternative and it's changed it. So if I click in continuous multi switch. So it's now gone down here to uh con found continuous and changed it to continual. So you can see the sort of things for that. Uh and then if I want to have uh um, if I want to type multi switch. Multi switch. Uh and <laughs> sorry, multi switch is using multi switch. Um and then uh Proper noun lies. Multi switch. Okay, so those are the ways of getting the uh, alternate words um, as in a text expander. Um, but it's not just pure text, we can actually do things, let's move that out of the way, uh, we can actually do things with formatting, formatted text. So, for example, uh, if you wanted uh, H2O done with a proper subscript 2, and uh, uh, CO2 with a proper subscript 2, then we can put those into the list. Copy and whoops, paste it into there. And so now when I click on the word H2O there without formatting, multi switch, run multi -switch it will change it to the um, proper formatted thing and again with that one multi switch so we could actually have um, if we want to actually type those we could have some more of these and I don't want to use capitals I would probably just use let's see say CO for example um, and um, H2 maybe H2 so now I can, if I'm typing, uh, you use H2, and then it's sorry, right, I was using I was using um, the uh, keystroke I've got normally set up. So you can type out uh, some text, blah blah blah, and then what did I say? I said CO CO, and then run multi switch. So there it is as a. Um, <sighs> a text expander with formatting. Uh, I think I'll stop there and then I'll do another one just to show you another couple of tricks with multi-switch. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye now.